Hey everybody, I have been hauling a lot of nail polishes, so I wanted to share my new, I don't know what that was, but anyway, I want to share my new obsession with you. Now, the first ones are going to be OPI nail polishes, and I kind of bought them, okay, they came in sets of two at Marshalls, and they were only $5.99. How can I refuse that? Because... OPI is like $9.50 or $9 now, so, you know, I kind of bought a whole bunch. Um, the first set was this red crackle and this very glittery silver, and I wanted it for this one. I didn't really care too much about any of the crackle polishes, but hey, and if any of my friends want it, I'll just give it to them. It hasn't been touched, but I do love this one. I have this gold Sally Henson one that I've been wearing all throughout the holidays, and I needed a silver one. So there's my silver one. And then the second set was these two. It was a purple one and a gold one. And again, I didn't really care too much about the crackle. Don't really care. It's a very pretty shade, though. I put it on, but I just don't really like the crackle effect, if that makes sense. And I love this one for fall. It's golden with purple, and it just looks so beautiful. Like, it looks very beautiful on, and it looks very golden. This one is called It's My Year, and that silver one is called Crown Me Already. Okay okay I'm gonna have all the names and with pictures on my blog that way it's gonna be easier like if you're a visual person like me sometimes you just wanna look at the picture and you're like oh, okay and read it versus hearing it you're probably not gonna remember it but anyway and the other ones I kinda went crazy on the flakies I love flaky nail polish now my first flaky was actually this one the Sally Henson diamond strength um, one called Glass Slipper. It's number 150. And it's just like a clear silver kind of shade. I don't know. Like it doesn't really have color to it. Even when you apply, it doesn't have that rainbow flaky effect that I was going for. I mean, it looks like on gray, it looks like a cool concrete kind of broken glass effect or something I don't know it's all right I wouldn't I wouldn't say this is a must buy but um I was looking more for the effects that I have on this nail right here like I love that and that is from these right here I bought four of them I didn't want to buy all of them because I felt like a lot of them were similar so the one that I have on this nail right here or this hand is the Revlon Nail Art Moon Candy in moon dust and this one's really pretty i think this one's like my favorite and on this hand actually i have on this purple one um i thought it was going to be really pretty but it's really not it goes on very lumpy and it look like it has a thick goopy texture which i don't like and i don't have that problem with that black and um the flakes look all golden and pretty it looks very beautiful and this one's just goopy I don't know I would skip it like I wanted to like it but I didn't and this one's called orbit and the other two are very pretty as well and it's a gray with kind of pinky tones and then a maroon with the golden kind of orangey flakes and this one is called satellite and this one is supernova and I again I'm gonna have close-up pictures and with all the names and everything on my blog and this one right here is a cheapy or cheapo, whatever you want to call it. And it goes on very opaque. I thought it was going to be just clear. It's from Walmart and it was only like $2 or something. And it's from their Pure Ice collection. I don't know if Pure Ice is a line of its own or it probably is. I don't know if they're affiliated with any other brands at Walmart, but... Um, they have a ton of colors, and all their colors are very beautiful, too. And this one's called Stop and Stare, and I wore this a lot during the fall and December as well. And it just, with one swipe, you get like a jelly-like finish that's black with silver, and then two coats, and you're good, and it looks just like the bottle. And the other one... I've been looking for a baby blue all over and I can't find one that shows up because some of the baby blues are so white that it just looks 
like light white shade I wanted the baby blue like the Tiffany blue and this shows up very beautifully this one's called blue away and it's from their insta dry line from Sally Henson and it's really pretty it really is like that Tiffany's blue and it gets a little bit darker when you apply it on your nails on my nails at least it just could be my skin color I don't know but and the last one this one I've been looking at for a while and I've been trying to find it for a while and I can't but I finally found it at Walmart when I was getting um some of their the moon candy Walmart has all the moon candy polishes like when I went to Target they only had a couple I don't know my Target seems to suck like at having collections of stuff well our Walmart has everything stocked and ready to go and at Target we just only get like a couple colors but Target's a lot clo well I shouldn't say they're a lot closer they're like right next to each other but Target's I hit Target first. But anyway, back to my Essie. This one is called Smokin' Hot, and I love this shade. And I have been looking for this shade for a long time, so I was so happy to finally find it. Yep. And that is it for my nail polish haul. And I actually had um, one more. I, it's from the James Bond thingy collection that OPI came out with. I think it's called... Uh, I don't know it's that gold shade it's the very very sparkly gold shade and I got two of them I got one for mommy and one for me but I can't find it man what if I sent both to her I wanted one but anyway I mean I can still find it somewhere here I'm sure but um, and I also got the Sephora or the OPI for Sephora Tinsel Town set, and that's like a whole big old set with like a whole bunch of little polishes and one big golden polish, and I love that set. It's really pretty. I love all the colors in it. I thought it was a really good buy. And now for real, that is it for my nail polish Holland. Um, if you're into polish, name some of your favorite polishes. I'm looking for a perfect pinky nude that has that's cream everything is sheer and it doesn't show up good on me it just looks clear and sheer or it just looks like really white whitish pink I just want a baby pink that doesn't show through my nails like I want it to be cream I'm trying to find SE Fiji but I don't know if it's a cream finish or not so if you have any suggestions please do let me know and I will talk to you guys later so don't forget to rate subscribe and comment and don't forget to check out my blog all the links are right below and the blog is going to have all the pictures and names of everything that I just mentioned and I'll see you guys later Mwah. bye Ooh,